Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Better. Better than yesterday. That's great. Yeah. All right. Say something on the chat. We still have the space for a greeting, for a hello message. It's a great idea to say hello, to say good evening, to say how you're feeling. Let's see. Hope you had a wonderful day. I hope everything is better, everything is all right, everything is okay. Let's see the messages on the chat, please. My people are still getting connected. Some was giving me a hard time today, actually. I couldn't connect as I, I was trying and trying and trying. So probably it's the same case for some other participants are still trying to connect. I don't know what's going on with Zoom. Zoom issues. Right? No more messages on the chat. Let's see. Write something on the chat. It's your turn. It's your opportunity to express, to wish your classmate something. Hi. How was your day? Sam, how are you? Uh, great. <laughs> Are you sick? Yeah, I'm fell. No way. London Bridge fell down. <laughs> <laughs> the song. <laughs> really? Another morning, the sadistic. No way. I thought you were kidding. No, 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 no. Really? Jesus. Okay. Have you received calls about the platform? I can understand you. I can listen. Versus <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> I, I, I have problem uh, with my earphones. Uh, my headphones. All right. I will do it today okay. in the in the midnight. Really? They give me a deadline. Yeah. Tomorrow, they said. Okay. Tomorrow night, you should register the grace. And I said, okay, I will remind him. Last okay. night, he was not in class. He was sick, I guess. <laughs> so, I know. I love the deadlines. <laughs> I love it. I work better under pressure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's my way. Okay. All right. Well, I see some more messages. Okay. Hector says, hello, everyone. I hope your day was very well. Good evening. Vitalia says, good evening. So I says, hello, everybody. Nice to see you through the cam again. <laughs> At least through the cam. Well, because of the virus, sometimes it's better through the cam. All right. Attendance. Let's have some attendance taken. All right. Oh my God, this is the class number 23. After this class, we're missing two only. That's great. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get to the right date. 
and that is the 17th right the 17th of november adriana adriana carlos not here oh god christy present teacher hello good evening good evening elsie no elsie present teacher hi good evening fatima hi hello good evening Herman. Not yet. All right, Hector. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Isabel. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Catherine. Hi. Microphone issues. <laughs> Lucy, Natalie. And good evening. Lori, present teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Roberto. Roberto Carlos. Sam. Present. Victelia. Present teacher. Good evening, Walter. Connection problems, most likely. Wendy. And Irma. No, yet. Oh well, I think they they informed yesterday that they were they were not gonna be able to be in class. Oof, having problems. Somebody's reporting problems. Oh my goodness. Ah oh, yes, this is the people working for the Black Friday. My God. Okay. Oh, sorry to hear that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, hopefully, people who have issues are able to fix it so that they can connect in a little while. All right. Great. Well, we're almost done for this module. That means that we are almost done with the unit four as well. The thing kind of challenging because we've been talking about looking for trainings or organizing trainings so that we can improve our skills and our knowledge, right? So let me just share the screen. I bet this is the right class. Yes, this is the one. Of course, the manual has focused on training for restaurants, right? So that's what we've been discussing. We've also been discussing, yes, identifying training opportunities for personnel, create a basic training needs assessment instrument, suggest the most appropriate training solutions for personnel after we advantages and disadvantage of several solutions, and design a basic checklist to evaluate the effectiveness of a staff meeting. Yes, so definitely. There are many trainings that people or a staff in a restaurant can receive. But let's try to identify just by looking at the picture. Okay. Yeah, definitely. There is a staff of a restaurant, right? Of people who work at a restaurant. Okay. So what type of trainings do you think these people might need? What are the possible training that people working in a restaurant would consider useful or would be necessary? ¿Qué tipo de training creen que les podría servir a las personas que trabajan en un restaurant? 
Mm -hmm. And in a suggestion, what type of training? No idea. I don't know. <laughs> um, courtesy. Courtesy okay. and attendant. Yes, customer service, courtesy, manners, greetings, right? Mm -hmm. What else? What other trainings would be recommended for a staff work at a restaurant? Just that. What else? No more. Okay, let's think about what skills do they need to develop? Efficiency, uh -huh, customer service, some sort of accounting for Probably not confusing <laughs> the numbers, <laughs> all right? I know now everything is done through a calculator also, I mean, by the cashier through a register, uh -huh. working under pressure, stress management, right? Okay, definitely they do need a lot of training and the more they train, the better they do their jobs, right? Kind of the strategies for serving the food, for food management, right? Okay, so definitely all those are the things that we're gonna discuss. Okay, let me just um, share the manual for you to have an idea of what they present, okay? Through the manual's lesson. Okay, we were done with this yesterday. We talked about the skills and things that we need to, okay, look trainings for. So through this lesson, you'll be able to create a basic training needs assessment template. Okay, you say template, what is a template? A template, it's a format, okay? Like, um, how would you say that? Como un, un formato. Okay, so it's just a, a document, right? and create a basic training needs assessment template. It's like, como crear un formato que hable o que muestre cuáles son las necesidades de training, necesidades de, básicas de un training o, o un training básico de algo. Obviamente, aquí lo enfocamos en el personnel of a restaurant, right? That's why the conversation is about looking for an adequate or a basic training for personnel who works in a restaurant, all right? So definitely if we have another job, the trainings are gonna be different, right? So we might have different necessities of other training depending on the area in which we work. All right, is it only new employees who need training? Estas son como las preguntas para reflexionar. ¿Solamente los new employees necesitan algo en training? No, right? What do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for a training? Como, ¿qué hacen ustedes si ustedes son los managers o ustedes son los, los jefes, los encargados de algún área y viene un empleado y le solicita un training? Yes. Of course, if an employee requests for a training, at least the employee has the interest of improving, right? Of doing things better, of learning, right? Probably the employee is not very good at something or is not an expert at doing something, but he or she wants to learn, right? So. Most of the companies, you look for the trainings and then you request at least for permission because of the schedules, because of the time, because of the resources that you're going to need 
to do the training, yes? And of course, um, the manager or your boss should be willing to give you the authorization or give you the permission to do the training, all right? So, hi, Catherine. Let's see. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good I'll be. Finally. <laughs> reinicié mil, uh, finally. Reinicié mil cinco mil veces el teléfono. No sé qué tenía. Yo creo que Zoom está muy heavy ahorita porque a mí me costó like four minutes to load. Cuando it usually goes like this. No, okay. Maybe. Mm -hmm. That could be. Sí me costó. Pero All right. Estoy. Sorry. Thanks. All right. Entonces vamos a conversar con nuestros partners. Sí, la necesidad de los trainings solamente es para los empleados nuevos. No. Okay, of course not, right? <laughs> so you say, is it only new employees who need training? No, because employees, I mean, either new or old employees, they always need to be updated, to learn, to keep up with the new um strategies or new methodologies or new uh, machineries or new way of new doing systems. things, new systems, right? So there's always the necessity to have trainings at work, okay? And actually it's pretty good, it's pretty healthy because um, the more you prepare your employees, the more efficient they can become, the better they are going to do their jobs, right? And the other question is, what do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for a training? Probably you say, no, but I'm not a manager, so I don't know what to do if an employee asks for a training. Imagine, try to imagine, or at least talk about your experience at your company. When you need a training and you see that there's an opportunity to do a training and you want to do this training because you want to learn because you consider it is necessary because you consider it's going to help you to do your job better so you say about this experience too okay so not only uh what text i'll say here on the on the instructions or on the question don't take this too literal right so you can talk also about your own experience all right let's see yeah, I bet I have this. All right. Yeah, we were just discussing about this and the possibilities of training for the servers. And of course, we do have these questions to discuss, right? Okay. We're going to make small groups and this is going to be a small participation, like a very brief discussion with your partners. And then we come back. Hey, Mayra. Hello. How are you? Hello. ¿Cómo? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Solo contestar la pregunta. Hello. 
teacher, yo solo de oyente porque estoy en el Word. Oh, sorry. All right. Training, personal training, sí. Yes, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's start. Uh, I say in the in the diapositive. Uh, mm -hmm. Here is only new employees who need training. What do you do if you are a manager and an employee come to you ask for training? Teacher. Yes. También hay que crear el el tra training template. No, no. That is the objective at the end of the lesson, but right now it's just to discuss the questions. Okay. What do you if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for training? Cristina. <laughs> I don't think uh, that the training should, the personal, uh, mm -hmm. should be continuous. Mm -hmm. um, for me, uh, training uh, should uh, be continuous. The personal, um, Le quiero decir que en cualquier área sería. Ajá. In any area. Um, Induction new, new employee. Um, eh, because. And now. Um, Attention, a customer, for example. Mm -hmm. um, ajá, pero eso, yo, yo pienso <ríe> así en español que debe ser continuo. Trying. Okay. okay. Uh, what do you do if you are manager and employees comes to you asking for training? Uh, okay. Yes. Um. Okay, um, uh, okay um, what do you do if you are a manager and employee come to you asking for a training? Simple, I give it the training. Huh? As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I will, I will, uh, I will have a department of training to look in and searching for new training for the different for the different department or different skill of the people to get more knowledge and and have a better develop from my work necessary. Yes. Need right. All need 
train train to specialize in new projects and um deficient yeah. for employees yeah. for boss for me <laughs> no para los ah, for the boss ah yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's necessary actualize okay and create a basic training needs assessment template. Okay, in this case, for example, uh from all the first line, I put uh, customer service and customer experience uh, training three times in a year, for example. From the medium. A list of, of meeting, digamos, of the employees. Necessities. Mm -hmm. Sí, sería. Pienso, pensamos, pienso. All right, let's see. We're gonna listen to some of you in the opinion. If only new employees need training, and what would you do if you are the manager and an employee comes to you and asks you for a training? We're gonna say, let's see. The first person to participate would be Catherine, and then she's going to choose somebody else, and so on, until we choose about three. All right? Okay. All the questions? Both questions. Two questions only. Okay. So the first one, uh, it's only new employee who needs training. Mm -hmm. I think... Um, no, it is necessary, necessary. Mm -hmm. the new employee, only the new employees uh, have a uh, training because um, all the employees uh, uh, need the training about the new system. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, new... And uh, uh, how do you say actualization? Updates. Sorry? Updates. Uh, about updates. And, and for, for example, uh, when uh, the COVID ill. Uh, how do you say como que vino el Salvador? Came or hit? Mm -hmm. Came to the Salvador. Uh, all the company having a new project, new control about the um, I don't know the working home, mm -hmm. for example. Home office. Uh, so, Yes, and and maybe some companies need a new system for that reason. And for uh, for another hand, um, the training is for 
improve the, uh, for example, the bad uh, things that the employees the gaps, do right? in the world. Mm -hmm. Yes, or for uh, get the new goals, or for uh, um, this, how do you say? Uh, cumplir, como cumplir una meta. To get, to obtain ah, okay. a goal, mm -hmm, an objective. Uh, to get, to get a goal of the company. And I think so. Right. And the second one, what do you, if you are a manager and employees come to asking for a training? Okay. I consider um, that is important to the manager have a good uh, control mm -hmm. about the employees and mm -hmm. a good communication mm -hmm. uh, because, um, I don't know, for example, I think someone uh, having uh, good ideas mm -hmm. and projects, I don't know, new goals or new ways to have, uh, uh, to allow to get uh, the goals of the company and also for example for for example um if the company doesn't that don't have um uh, the experts example, the project or the like, like the environment or the improve the some skilled employees and some employees have ideas to um, to what is it? To, to implement. Uh, yeah, to implement a new rules or mm -hmm. new ideas or um, to improve the I don't know the work mm -hmm. or the communication. I, don't know, I think it's necessary. For example. Uh, even a company that doesn't exist, uh, como, um, como se podría decir como reciclar, recycling, recycling, like programs like, for recycling, it, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. and also if uh, some companies recollect the can of the sodas, the um, just the recycled uh, material like plastic, yes. paper. Mm -hmm. Yes, and maybe it, um, can the company can be a new, um, how do you say, ingresos? Incomes? In, incomes uh, to the company. I don't know. I think so. For it's very important uh, the communication or the the communication to the manager uh, with employees. Mm -hmm. uh, I I don't know. I think it's necessary to get a meeting. Um, I don't know. For example, once in a week mm -hmm. and recollect ideas to improve uh, the work in the company. All I right. Think. Good. Thank you. That was nice participation, actually. You say a name. Thank you. Choose a name. Uh, okay, okay, okay. No voy a ver, solo lo voy a decir. <laughs> um, Carlos? Are you there, Carlos? I think he's sick. He's voiceless. Okay, uh, Samuel. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you want to participate. I know. <laughs> I'm giving you voice. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, uh, the first one. It is only new employees who do need training? No. And the all, all groups say no because uh, the training is necessary and for all the the different kind of employees in the in the work and in the the company for different reasons. You have to train the new people. Of course, they have to know what they're gonna do, but you can uh 
give more uh, hammer, more tools, more tools. Thank you for all the people to get better job. Uh, for example, the first line, the, the operative person, the medium boss, the big boss, and everybody have to to get training minimum three times in a year. And then the second, hey, what do you do if you are a manager and uh, employees come to you asking for a training? I hope don't, I hope don't need to employee told me he need a training. I hope have a assessment, uh, a schedule for everybody in the job to have a training. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, I, I, I talking with uh, human resources last week and I said, do you have to use, uh, do you have to use this kind of, of course of English course to the, to put in the, in the, the not warning in, in the in los anuncios de empleos? Announcements? En los, en los announce, eh, ahí? Mm -hmm. eh, like a, a benefit for mm -hmm. if, what happened if you work with us, mm -hmm. you have an English class, for example. It should be a benefit uh, for the employees. Of course, of course, you, you, you have to explode that. Uh, another example I put in the group, uh, everybody, everybody how have to know how to use Excel, for example. This is basic. Then you can use Word. Now it's a life or... skill. Yeah, yes. It's the ABC from work. Yeah. How to use the formula, the formulas, uh, how to use the square, whatever. But you have to need, you need to work to, to know Excel. From all office, and... that's the most needed one. Yeah, yeah. Word working alone. Mm -hmm. But in Excel, you have to use your logic and uh, make the, the, the program uh, do the rest. The work for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you have to explore your logic. And then in this case, you don't have to ask for a training. Mm -hmm. you, you have to give to all, all employees their schedule for trainers mm -hmm. and program for all the year, not uh, no, 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 no. You have to program for all the year and being a, a, a business career, a mm -hmm. business uh, long term uh, of working in the in the in the mm -hmm. in the company. Mm -hmm. Totally. That was the opinion. Totally agree. <laughs> okay, choose someone else. The third mm -hmm. one. The third one. Okay, let me see. Tim Marín de Do Pingüe, Cucaramacara Titre fue, yo no fui, fue Tete, pégale, pégale, que nos quedamos en Lucy Natalie Juárez. Right. Lucy, Lucy. <ríe> Ni porque le hacemos Chirlín en la luz y nos contestan. Lucy, what's wrong? Okay. Okay, I change my opinion. Mm -hmm. The person who have a red shirt. <laughs> Don't understand yet. <laughs> no? Someone with a red shirt? <laughs> I don't know if she's no jet. <laughs> what she says, like, I oh, know it's not me. No, not me. Fatima? I was wondering if your blouse probably is not red and we got confused. Probably it's orange, I said. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. It's all right. <laughs> um. For me, it's important uh, what everything, mm -hmm. everything, 
have a training constant because uh, the work is changed every, uh, every time. And uh -huh, um, the days is work uh, knowledge and skills news <laughs> it's, this. Yeah, it's always important to get new knowledge new skills to get updated at work right and yes. what would you do if you are the manager and an employee asks you for a training um first mm -hmm. analyze and identify identify Identify, yes. Yeah, in identify um the department who who require a training mm -hmm. templates for training mm -hmm. and personal what skills and knowledge needs for for work for Cómo es mejorar pro improve improve mm -hmm. improve yes all right nice well thank you very much yeah it's been very very productive I know your opinion really counts and of course you are in the working environment I mean this is English for work so we relate to this because it can happen to us I I really love the fact that every job every department every company should have a program for training their employees not only the new employees but everybody at work in different areas in different times it would be a great idea but it's still the initiative of looking for training looking for opportunities to improve should also be valued because it might happen that in some companies uh, you request for permission because you are having a class or you're having a training so you need to make some arrangements probably not that they let you go or leave the work earlier or get to work later but at least for the approval, okay, so that you can take a course, that you can improve your skills, that you are investing energy, time also in improving a skill so that you can perform your work better, okay? And it's always good to be learning. I mean, that's a fact. We are human, so the fact that we are always learning something new it's unavoidable all right so there you have a conversation and we have diego and stacy yes i'm sorry so it says we will use this chart to analyze the training needs for our new servers as i told you this conversation is focused on looking for training for employees at a restaurant, okay? But that doesn't matter because, I mean, as I said, everybody at any job should have the opportunity to look or to get a new, uh, I mean, a better knowledge or improve their skills. It says major task of the position. Ah, servers are in charge of handling, of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. All right, so definitely these two people are co-workers, so they're working together and identifying the needs, the necessities 
of training that the servers have, right? Once again, we will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. New, they talk about new employees. This is major task of the position. Ah, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming in a in personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. All right. Of course, we're going to have the opportunity to practice so that you can internalize the vocabulary, the intonation, the pronunciation of this conversation. But just at first sight, is there any difficult word that you spot that you identify so that you want to practice before that you practice with your partner? ¿Hay alguna palabra que consideren que le va a dar dificultad o que la vean que está difficult? To pronounce? No? Grooming teacher. Groom. 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 Like, yes, grooming. Grooming es como la, el arreglo personal. Mm -hmm. Grooming. Uh -huh. <coughs> Any other? And they look a bit messy. Messy. No el jugador, va. <laughs> <laughs> Bien feliz hoy. esta no Qatar porque ya llegó a a Qatar, pero no. Como Messi. Yo hacer el mundial pensé ah, que era Messi. Messi, Messi, usted. no. Este adjetivo describe desorden, desordenado. Por ejemplo, si los Digamos que los nuevos waiters and waiters que han contratado no están como muy presentables. Que, por ejemplo, no sé, ¿verdad? Si a ustedes les ha pasado que han llegado a un restaurante y el, el mesero anda con rastas o anda algo peludo, se da, usted ve algo trashy, se ve algo calle, dice uno. Entonces, Sometimes. Pero, ajá. Y sobre todo si el... el el lugar no les exige, pues, entonces, como, no. eso es Messi, desordenado. Obviamente, eso va a depender mucho de qué tipo de restaurante sea. Si es no. el que vende las tortas en la calle, no, vea. No creo oh, que esté no. muy, muy presentable, muy grooming. Yeah. <risa> grooming. Grooming es el hecho de arreglarse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. De hecho, es existe... Lo es lo contrario. Y Messi... Messi es ajá, desordenado. Puede ser en apariencia, cabello, ropa, vestuario. También es el grooming, también existe en, los, en las mascotas. Cuando uno lleva a los perritos a que les corten el cabello, que los bañen, eso es hacer el grooming, pet grooming. Teacher, uh -huh. y with bit, bit, Messi. Bit. A bit, Messi, un poco. A little bit, decimos nosotros, a bit messy. Uh -huh. So, teacher, Rumi is uh, very organ, organized. Que necesitan algo de arreglos, de apariencia, uh, uh, eso es grooming. Ah, uh, okay, okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. When you go to the beauty salon, when you go to the barber shop, you say, oh, I need some grooming. All right? Okay, okay. all right. No more? Sure? For me, no more. All right. So let's practice with the same people we were in the first group. Second chance.
Okay. Who star? Hola, mamá. ¿Dónde está? Excelente. ¿Quién empieza? Mamá. Bueno, so, serían entre dos, ¿verdad? Sí, que ha sabido sí. de, de. Yes. Mamá. Ok. Eh, no sé si. Bueno, empezamos entonces. Después practica con. <ríe> Okay, um, I'm Diego, or you or Diego? You're Diego. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major task of the position. Our servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payment correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think that we need to help with them that. Um, grooming and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Ok, ahora lo practica con Isabel. Isabel. Ok. Estar ahí, por yo. ¿Verdad? Sí, no es con, con Diego. Ah, pues, voy a ser Diego yo. Ah, ok. Voy a ser Diego y usted es Stacy. Ok. Y, we will use a chart to analyze the training need of our new server. It say my whole task of the position. Uh, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget servers have to be ready. Ready. I think we need to help then with that grooming and personal appearance, appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize, organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Ahora usted Diego y Stacy is Firma. Okay. Okay. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major task of the position. Ah, servers are in charge of holding food correctly and processing payment correctly. Don't forget, server have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday. In the morning, I will organize every... It's, yeah, all right. Teacher, you don't suspend class in your other work with the COVID or for the flu? No, not yet. No yet, okay. <laughs> no, but thank God there were few and only students. They were only sent home. They were not received there. Actually, today was still one girl sent, but the rest have been attending. Okay, that's great. Yeah. And thank God nobody from the personnel got sick. None of the teachers. So all the teachers attended and were working. Actually, my boss and well, both my bosses are in a training right now. Ah, that's great. Mm -hmm. And we're almost finished. Actually, we are just missing this coming week for Thanksgiving. 
and then the kids are gone they they only will come back only about a couple of days only for three events i think entrega de notas they yeah and there's another intercentral which is a huge event i don't know why they haven't canceled it yet <laughs> mm -hmm. that, because that one yes that one it reunites like all the 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 centers from the program so that is about a thousand kids yeah that's huge it's like a fest they have <laughs> And then Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving is only internal. So, yeah. yeah, I don't think Thanksgiving is a problem. And that's it. And then we'll see them until next year. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for them, it's practically the whole month of December with exceptions for the events. But then, teachers, yeah, but yeah. is that that is that they come few, for uh, fun? Yes. Yeah. They come for fun. We prepare everything for them, so they enjoy. Actually, yesterday they were having a, a relaxing day because today they have really? yeah. Today they have toy. So yesterday we had movies, a snack, games for them to release their stress. And today after the test, we asked them how did they go, and they said. Teacher, the sound was too loud. And sometimes they say, no, it's too low. And sometimes they say, no, the AC was too freezing. Oh my God. They, yeah, they always have an excuse. For everything. Mm -hmm. Then all December you are on vacation with both works. No, the kids only. <laughs> okay, and this one? That's when you are free because you are intermediate. You are you? No, I got another one. I got a basic one. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. in, the, in the same schedule. Same schedule. This is the only schedule I can work for. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Because the other job is like really demanding. It takes up, yes, like most of the day. For events, sometimes we have to arrive there at 6 a.m. in the morning when we have this field trips, for example. When we take the kids, actually, the principal says that he's taking the kids this year to the volcano. In Santana, <laughs> I think I'm gonna look for a medical leave that day. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you this know. This is a good excuse. I uh, know. And the worst thing is that when we come back, there's a huge traffic. Once we arrive back at 10 p.m., imagine. <laughs> I'm tired just listening to you. Mm -hmm. I'm and tired imagine, and, just listening to you. Yeah, and imagine taking care of about 150 kids. <laughs> I don't think so. No, thank you very and much. And their parents, their parents go crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't think I'm going to be able to. <laughs> I have to, yeah, I have to but create for example, a very believable excuse. Ah. The, the workup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course it's going to be because of that. I even have to work, I even have to go this coming Saturday. <sighs> because they are having a project on projects management and blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to go collaborate. But anyway, <laughs> it's some kind of. It's part volunteer. of the show. Yes, I know. And I'm going to enjoy doing, I mean, doing that because there is a former, a former who graduated from this foundation a long time ago. And then he went to study in the United States. He studied something related to industrial engineering. Yeah. Then he came to El Salvador. He studied the major. Then he's working at Crowley and he's doing a master in industrial engineering so he's going to come and teach part of the learning they have acquired so i think i'm gonna enjoy that all right you're done with the conversation right yeah all right let's go back
All right. How was the conversation? Easy peasy. All right. For in the first group, we're going to listen to Catherine and Vitalia. Are you ready? Yes, teacher, but I only practice uh, only alone. <laughs> but it's no problem. No problem to read. Okay, you want to read the whole thing? Yes. All right, go ahead. Okay. Um, we will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major tasks of the position uh, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. All right, the whole story. Nice. Okay. Let me see. On the next group we have Fatima, Isabel, and Walter. Well, Fatima already participated, which is great. So we're going to listen to Isabel and Walter. Right? Is that fair, Fatima? Totally. Yes, totally. <laughs> <laughs> no, obs no obsession whatsoever. <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, Isabel, I don't know who do you want to be. Isabel, is he connected? No. no. I will be. You want to be a Stacy? <laughs> Diego. <laughs> All right. Okay, I start. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major task of the position. Ah. Servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. All right. <laughs> okay, and the next group was Ferman, Mayra, and Nuri. Vaya, Nuri, usted, usted diga quiénes son los que van a decir la conversation. Okay, how I have to choose <laughs> my partners, <laughs> my friends or mine. <laughs> All right. No, no, no. <laughs> I would like the yeah. connection. Ooh, connection problems. <laughs> ya le aprendieron a los teenagers toda la vida era aquí en mi casa no funciona el inter mi hija aquí se acaba de caer la red y yo ¿y cómo está hablando? Perdón. It's okay. Okay, I'm just okay. kidding. Start. I am Start sorry. Okay. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. Is it major task on the position? Has ah, servers are in the chart or handling food correctly and processing payment correctly. Don't forget, server have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training and extra today in the morning. I will organize everything and to send them an email to let them know. 
Yes, to let them know. How to let them know. Yes, appearance. Appearance. Yes, personal appearance. appearance. Okay. All right. The next group was. Oh, this was a, a big one. Christy, Irma, Sam, and Wendy. But I bet Wendy is preparing the Black Friday. She says. <laughs> so. Christy, are you able to speak? Yes. Did you practice with Irma? Uh, uh, we summoned. All right. So, Christy and some of them. Do you need okay. me to change the, I mean, to share the Please. screen? Yes. Here Please. Because I just got a hot tea right here, so I'm handling it. <laughs> okay. I'm Diego. All right. Okay. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says measure takes of the position. Ah, servers are in shape of helping food correctly and processing payment correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with the grooming uh, uh, personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize it of everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay, nice. that's perfect. Organize, organize. All right, I will organize. All right. Do we have another group? The last one, I bet. Yes, that was Adriana, Milker, Carlos, Elsie, and Hector. Let's see, Hector, who did you practice with? Um, Elsie. Elsie. With Elsie. Mm -hmm. So it would be okay. Hector and Elsie. <laughs> Is Carlos okay. able to speak or no? Not yet. Mr. Carlos. Okay, Elsie. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. Inside major tags of the position. Ah, server adding share of training food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize organize everything and you need and you send them an email to let them know. Nice to let them know. All right. When Diego says we will we will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. Como vamos a usar este cuadro para analizar las necesidades de training que tienen nuestros nuevos empleados, en este caso en el, el restaurant, ¿verdad? Y dice, ok, primero vamos a identificar como cuáles son las funciones básicas de los servers, de los meseros, right? En un restaurant. Ok, aquí dice que los major tasks de esta position, o sea, las tareas principales o más importantes de esta posición de trabajo son ok, ellos están en, a cargo de servir comida correctamente, o sea de manejar de manipular llevar la comida hacia las mesas, hacia los customers de forma correcta, apropiada y de procesar los pagos también de forma correcta correctly, right? Entonces también Dios le dice nuevamente que no se olvide que los servers también tienen que ser friendly. O sea, algo que mencionaba una de las compañeras al inicio cuando yo les consulté qué tipo de training podrían necesitar los servers en un restaurante. 
obviamente ya decía la cortesía, los manners, la forma de hacer sentir bien al customer. Entonces, para esto, obviamente tienen que tener un training en customer service, ¿verdad? Muchas veces, creo que a veces nos ha pasado que el lugar es muy bonito, que la calidad de la comida es buena, que muchos plus, pero el customer service es malo. Entonces, igual nos desencanta el lugar como customers. Entonces, obviamente, se tiene que pensar en esto. Porque a veces quizás no es ni, ni tanta culpa del, del, del empleado, sino que no se le ha dado el entrenamiento adecuado. Sobre todo si es una persona que es nueva haciendo ese tipo de trabajo, right? Entonces, le, le recuerdo a Diego, don't forget the servers have to be friendly. So, I think we need to help them with that. Entonces, podemos darle, podremos ayudarles con eso, darles un entrenamiento en esa área, en cómo tratar al cliente. Grooming and personal appearance, también, o sea, cómo tener una buena presentación, sobre todo si va a trabajar en un restaurante, va a estar sirviendo comida, tiene que verse neat, ¿verdad? no tiene que verse sucio ni desarrapado y todo eso. En hay como que acuerdan, ¿verdad? Sí, dar el entrenamiento, pero dice, ok, we're going to have a short training next Saturday in the morning. Entonces vamos a dar este entrenamiento el próximo sábado en la mañana. Yo voy a organizar todo y usted les envía correo a los empleados para informarles, ¿verdad? To let them know. Ok, hasta ahí. ¿Hay alguna duda, alguna pregunta que aún surja? ¿Qué han identificado en las dos expresiones que están en negritas, por, por decir algo? The auxiliary will. Yeah. Ajá. Usted ven el will como un auxiliar y después del will qué hay Correcto. un verbo Ajá. a verb es a base form digamos entonces obviamente este will nos hace pensar algo que va a suceder algo que estoy planificando para que suceda en unos pocos días right we will We will use this chart to analyze. We will use. Siempre voy a necesitar un sujeto, obviamente. ¿Quién va a hacer la acción? Voy a necesitar el auxiliary y voy a necesitar el verbo. Por ejemplo, si usted me dice, mañana voy a completar la plataforma. ¿Quién va a hacer la acción? Usted. I. I will complete. Entonces, I will, el auxiliar, complete, es el verbo. I will complete the platform tomorrow. Yes. Y ese es un future plan. Eh, teacher, yes. o sea que al revés, porque nosotros dicen mañana completo y de ahí el mañana es de último. El inglés es un poco más ordenado que el español, pongámoslo así. En el español uno habla como quiere y como uno ya está, pues, inmerso porque esa es su lengua natal. Pero usted no cambia el significado de la oración si dice, voy a completar eso mañana. Usted igual entiende. Pero sí. el inglés es más cuadrado, digamos. La gramática del inglés es más organizada. Es más neat. Usted siempre inicia una oración con un sujeto, no con una expresión de tiempo. Aunque si le inicia con una expresión de tiempo y hace la pausa, pone la coma en escritura, puede decir así, tomorrow... I will complete that. Ajá, pero tiene que ser como un gran énfasis. Entonces, para no tener que hacer eso tan forzado y que se escuche mucho más natural, dice, I will complete that tomorrow. Y las expresiones de tiempo generalmente van al final o del lugar. Dice, I will go to the office tomorrow. Yes. Entonces, es más formal o es más obvio iniciar una oración con un sujeto. ¿Con quién va a ser la acción? Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a ver en este momento. Solo que déjenme paso la tendencia de second time, que ya nos pasamos un poquitito nada más. Like a little bit. Adriana. Carlos. ¿Todavía están ahí? Are you there? <ríe> Christy. Elsie. Fátima, Fermán, Present teacher. Present teacher. 
Germán ni le había puesto tenis todavía. Héctor. Present teacher. Isabel. Catherine. Present. Lucy. Present. Mayra. Nuri. Present. Present. Mayra. Roberto. Present. Robert no está. Today. Ok. Sam. Present. Vitalia. Walter. Present. Wendy. I am here, teacher. And Irma. I hate each pen. All right. Working. Yes, teacher. Working, working. <laughs> My goodness. Van a estar buenas esos Black Friday. Ahí le llegamos. Yes. <laughs> Ahí le espero. Aprovecha, aprovecha, amor, que va a llevar. <laughs> Ahí sí, vea, bueno. New motors. Ahí sí. Ahí <laughs> sí. Publicity. Aquí lo más. Le vamos y si a llevo tres, ahí me te cuento. <laughs> Catherine, lo que no sabes es que aquí tenés a la vendedora y a la gerente, así que aprovecha. Me voy a ir, hablemos con Irma. Pero mire, yo lo vi allá más barato. Mañana no lo ah, pues, ah, pues si lo vio más barato allá, vaya y aproveche y después de aquí lo espero. ¿verdad? No, yo por el ser que ah, que vale. <risa> aproveche, si lo encontró más barato allá, cómprelo allá. <risa> aquí conmigo. Sí, va a estar bueno estos discounts Vamos a ver No, de hecho yo sí te, tengo la, la curiosidad de llegar De hecho yo estoy hablando con un compañero Que he's getting married this, this uh, Christmas So he says his wife wants a How do you call it? A chilero La tijera está cerca de, de Plaza Soya Está cerca uh -huh, A cupboard yeah. I suggested him So probably we're going to go one of these days Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Le esperamos, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Y a todos también. All right. <laughs> Aprovecha la publicidad. Bueno. Thank you. Veamos. Let's continue con el exercise que nos sugiere la conversation. Da. Arriba tienen... Esta información. Handling credit cards is difficult for me. Kitchen manager. Practical training in restaurant duty of hours. Grooming and personal appearance. Serve orders by picking up and delivering patrons choice from bar and kitchen. Jim Marshall, September 10th. Ok, en estos espacios ustedes tienen que ubicar <ríe> esa información de arriba. Yo creo que está obvia, ¿verdad? Pero igual ustedes la pueden discutir con sus compañeros. Por ejemplo, si aquí dice Employee Name y aquí tengo Jimmy Marshall, aquí va el Employee Name. ¿Yes? Ajá, si aquí tengo September, Saturday 10 y aquí dice Date, acá va la Date. ¿Yes? Entonces es ubicar la información de arriba en el template de abajo. Sí, como cuando uno llena un form, ¿sí? ¿Qué le dicen? Last name, usted pone su last name. Entonces, es bajar la información y ubicarla en cada uno de los espacios correspondientes. Complete the training needs analysis, DNA, chart, using the information from the box, and then we check our answer. ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Yes? Yes, teacher. All right, perfect. Bye. Vamos a trabajar con alguien más because it's always good to interact with other people.
arriba, Héctor, bajarlo para la, la cajita de abajo. La, la, uh -huh. Llenar los espacios. Uh -huh. Vaya. Ejemplo, Gene, for me, Jimmy Marshall. Jimmy Marshall. Marshall. Okay. okay. I agree with you. Espérame. Jimmy Marshall. Jimmy Marshall. Uh -huh. Training skill needed. Um, uh -huh. Ah. I see. Yes. No. Training. Uh, yes. Yes, yes sería. Yes. Sí. Date sep September Saturday the 10th. Donde dice date. Ah, no, pero aquí dice TNA Don y Stacy Ah, bueno, no. Espérame, espérame. Ah, ok. <ríe> no. Es el no, pero aquí está la respuesta. Stacy Ah, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. El date sería. Uh, September Saturday uh, 10. Entonces, ¿verdad? Yes. September. Organizar por My staff of the position. Ajá. Uh -huh. And... organizador o el proveedor dice? Of the position. Ajá. Uh -huh. El manager, kitchen manager, no. Mm. Él está organizando, o sea, el, el, el manager de la cocina. Kitchen manager, yes, ajá, uh -huh. kitchen manager. Uh -huh. Manager. The next dice, mayor task of the position. Ah, hijo, <laughs> pues. Creo que no era eso. Porque dice el siguiente es mayor task of the position. ¿Qué significa ese mayor task? Busquémoslo. Okay, okay. Pues sí. Auxilio, auxilio. Ah, y esa palabra estaba en la, en la anterior. Tarea primera. Mayor Task of the position, sí. ¿Qué es mayor? ¿Qué es mayor? Mayor, como el mayor, como el más, lo más importante, creo. Mayor task, la, la, como, ajá, como de principal task como las principales. Comencemos con... Esto. Ahí será teacher, preguntemos. Hey, teacher. Hello. <risa> Usted dijo que estaba más fácil, pero vi que no. <risa> Está <risa> fácil, Fermán. <risa> no, no, no es así físico, como dice. <risa> vale, mira, aquí entiendo que es esto. ¿Quién es Stacy Dor? ¿A quién no dice Stacy Dor? Ah. Va, ese TMA, teacher, es eh, como eh, la capacitación, el análisis de la capacitación que uh -huh. necesita, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. y eso, Stacy Dor es la partida. Ay, ¿quién lo hizo el análisis? ¿Quién bueno, está? Porque dice TNA Don't Buy. Eso ya no necesita color, poner nada más. Este, ok. Este, este color. No, el que eh, tiene la cuarta no me... La Negro. descripción de la, de la, del, del de puesto. La uh -huh. Kitchen manager. Uh -huh. mm, major task of the position. Ajá. Pero ¿y eso dónde lo encontramos? Ahí arriba. En la conversation. No, en esos cuadritos. Mm, es que eso Handing no credit cards is difficult for me. Ah. Entonces es lo que le cuesta. Servers by picking no. up, ajá. No, porque dice que como major, ¿qué es major, teacher? La es principal, mejor. no. Ah, principal. principal tarea 
más importante. Eh, de la posición, uh -huh. pero aquí no me dice qué posición tiene Jimmy Marshall. Porque se también la tiene que identificar, ajá. Kitchen, Kitchen Manager. Manager. Uh -huh. Ajá. Okay. ¿Y pero si que... es... Perdón, dale. No, pero ¿qué puedo pensar yo que tiene que ver con el card? La <risa> tarjeta de crédito del Kitchen Manager. Tampoco Para mí, este. ser comis. Porque mm. para mí un kitchen manager es el encargado de... De la cocina. Exacto. Uh -huh. Y ahí no aparece el teacher. Permítame. Desde de, de, sí, de, de esta screen no lo veo muy bien. Déjenme ver. Cabe acá. <risa> no ve la copia. No. <risa> Está mal. <mayor. risa> de hecho no tengo un answer. Un answer aquí. <risa> Mala la madre. Ya ves, teacher, es terrible. Sería bueno tener un answer aquí, pero no tengo. Ay, Dios. Ajá. Veamos. Employee name ya lo identificaron. Ya. Yeah. Sí. Tra training skill needed. Eh, que necesito. training in restaurant during... Aquí pongo yes, porque uh -huh. aquí es lo único que puedo colocar. Yes or este. no. Yes or no. Pero abajo hay un espacio. Acá lo que puedo colocar, teacher, es holding credit cards. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Holding es sostener, ¿o qué? ¿Qué, qué vemos acá? A lo mejor. Llevar o traer. Manejo, manejo. Uh -huh. Manejo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Holding. Credit card. Y la cutca. Por la cut cut. O un Pero no la negra en no sé, no sé. Organizes provider. Eh... Ajá, es que ahí está el kitchen manager. Él es el que va a proveer el, 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 el training. Y él es el que organiza el training. Okay. No él es el que lo recibe. Ya ve, teacher. Ya, dice, hermano. No, no, it's not easy peasy. It is easy. Ok, entonces hoy sí. Uh, como, ¿qué me dijo que era mayor? La mejor, no, no era la, la principal. Lo princip la principal tarea uh -huh. de la, de la, de la oh, persona que va a recibir el training. Ma mm. La E, server order by pick up, up, eso para mí es. La E. Digo yo. Y sería. Que sabe. Mm. <clears throat> right. Ok. We have finished. Mm -hmm. Let me take... Um, Handling, handling, handling es como manejar credit cards. Mm -hmm. Sí. Finish t-shirt. All right, thank you. Okay. Ella terminó la plataforma. Sí. ¿Está? Solo me falta el examen final. <ríe> Lo dejé por último. <ríe> Pero ya casi. Veré si después. Mañana temprano. <ríe> ah, ya las hizo. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo le puse? Ah, ya.
Solo la última Ajá, creo tenía que la que así, así no he probado hacerla, fíjese. O sea, agregarle el, el, el B, el to be. Aquí dice que usted puede usar el will o puede usar el presente progresivo. El Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, si se está haciendo ahorita, yo lo entendí así, si lo está haciendo ahorita es presente progresivo, pero si lo va a hacer, digamos, uh -huh. otro día, entonces ocupa el will. El will, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Así lo entendió. Solo que la última no, le probé de todas formas y no le dio. Ese sí le soy honesto. Ah, el, 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 el... A teacher. Sí, Leo. Hey, tell me. Es que, eh, aprovechando, estamos ahí viendo la plataforma. Es que esa tarea. No le sale tarea. bien la número 5. No, Ajá. Esta no. ¿De qué es? ¿Four point? Es 4.5. Eh, 4.5. Vaya, ahorita déjenme ver. 4.5. 4.3, 4.5. La última, eh, perdón. La última sentence. Okay. La última. Yes. The last sentence. The last one. Mm. Lo pone en progresivo, pero el progresivo también es, es utilizado para futuro cuando ya está planeado algo. Uh -huh. Entonces escribe, he isn't working next week. Ah, working. Uh -huh. mm. He isn't working next week. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so en vivo much. Y en <laughs> You're welcome. Le probé de todas formas, pero nunca le puse el Sí, sí lo que pasa es que igual no hemos visto ese, ese tema. Yo lo había probado. Yo lo había probado. Pero no le había agregado mm. el Lison. Mm -hmm. Sí, yo creo que mañana vemos eso. Don't worry. Ok, pero lo tenemos adelantado, teacher. Mm -hmm. Great, sí, porque para mañana se cierra. <risa> mañana tenemos okay. de deadline para mandar esa nota. Y incluy oh. incluyendo el examen final. Exactly. Mm -hmm. ah. <risa> That's good news. <risa> Ahorita se lo voy a decir porque sí. I have that pressure. Ok. All right. Thank you, teacher. ¿Lo, lo, ¿Lo vio él sí, Cristina? Sí. Done? Finished? Yes. Bueno. Veamos. ¿Cómo nos quedó esto? By estrategia en inglés, para cualquier exercise, hago la más fácil y las que me sobre son las difíciles. <risa> Simple, simple strategy. Veamos. Employee name. Jimmy Marshall. Bye, Jimmy Marshall. La F voy a poner. Ok. Ok. Training skill needed. Yes, yes. or no? Yes. Bye, chequecito voy a poner. Espérenme que me quedo feo. Acá. All right. 
Aquí dice que el template lo hizo la señora Stacy Dor, TNA, o sea, Training Need Analysis, right? Ya está hecho y no hay que no hay que escribir nada. Major task of the position. ¿Cuáles son aquellas tasks principales de esta posición de trabajo? Server orders by picking up and delivering patron choice from bar and kitchen. Uh -huh. Entonces aquí tenemos letter E. Ok, serve orders by picking up and delivering patron choices from bar and kitchen. Ok. El date, ¿cuándo se dará ese training? September, Saturday September. 10th. Uh -huh. September, Saturday 10th. All right. ¿Qué tenemos? The organizer. Kitchen manager. Kitchen manager. Kitchen manager. That is letter? B. 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 Letter B. B. <laughs> letter B. Bye. Okay, de hecho este espacio es como para poner toda esa información, pero igual solo se prendo la letra para agilizar. Training solutions. ¿Cuáles son los training solutions? Practical training in restaurant during off hours. Practical training in Let's restaurant see. during off hours. O sea que cuando no están atendiendo realmente los servers están practicando así prácticos de llevar, traer 40 bandejas y no sé cuántas bebidas al todo, no sé si alguna vez han visto eso, pero I had the opportunity to work in a place where they have this type of training y los ponían a caminar casi que alrededor de la cancha con un con azafate aquí so it's practical, right, para que desarrollen como los athletes pues, o sea, no van a desarrollar la resistencia si solo es, ah, eso es lo que hay que hacer y no lo hacen they have to do it right, so this will be letter C What other areas would you like to improve? Grooming a personal appearance. Okay, grooming and personal appearance. That is letter D. Y letter A lo pusimos en algún lado. Major. Abajo de training skill need. Training skill needed. Acá. Uh -huh. Aquí podría estar letter A. All right, perfect. Bye. ¿Alguna doubts? ¿Alguna question so far? No. Teacher, um, tell me. I heard, uh, I don't know, I. Oh, template. 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 La definición o el significado de la palabra sí, template. Sí, sí, sí. Cuando ya le dan como una estructura hecha que seguir. Por ejemplo, esto, el cuadro para identificar la necesidad de un training es como ya solo de, de llenar. Oh, okay. Es un formato, decimos nosotros. Cuando dan los formatos en Excel ya solo para meter información. Ok. O oh, en PowerPoint, ya están las templates solo para poner lo que nosotros necesitamos poner. Eso. La, sería tipo las plantillas también en Word. Ajá, exacto. Okay. Plantilla es la palabra. <ríe> Esa es la okay. translation. Uh -huh. Yo no sé, pero siempre he escuchado template quizás por el contexto, pero sí esa es la palabra adecuada. Bueno, sigamos. Esto nos lleva a estudiar el wheel. El wheel es una cosa fabulosa porque no se estresan con saber el pasado ni la forma participia ni nada del verbo. Porque solo se pone wheel y el verbo en base form, sin ningún cambio. Y ya estoy diciendo, espérenme, something went wrong. Ya estoy diciendo que algo sucederá, va a suceder. Obviamente no es la única forma de decir algo del futuro. Tenemos el going to, pero hay una slight difference. El will es un poquito más de prediction, un poquito más alejado. El tiempo en el que la acción va a suceder, 
y tiene algunos otros usos. Vale, empezamos con el chart. Look at the examples in the box and then complete the exercises. We use will to make prediction, lo que les decía. Usted dice, ay, creo que va a llover, dice uno cuando es. So, I think it will rain. Yes? Entonces, como estoy tratando de predecir lo que va a pasar. Yes? Entonces, uso will. Ok. To say what you believe will happen in the future. So, we use will to make prediction to say what you believe will happen in the future. Lo que creemos que va a suceder. Yeah? I think a famous chef will come to the event. Estoy expresando lo que cree que va a suceder. The manager will prepare a new training for hosts. All right? So, you're saying that probably this will happen. Use will for decisions that you make spontaneously. At the time when you are speaking. Cuando nosotros estamos como hablando y de repente decimos, oh, voy a hacer cosas. Usamos también will. Yes? So, customers are complaining about a slow service. I will talk to the staff. Como, ok, eso es lo que está sucediendo y tomo esta decisión espontánea. <coughs> Sorry. That server just spilled the soup on the customer. I will call the manager. O sea, acaba de tirarle la sopa al customer. Tengo que llamar al, voy a llamar al manager, right? And use will to make a promise or to offer help to somebody. Como, ¿prometo hacer algo? O ofrezco, o ofrezco alguna ayuda. Entonces uso will. I will be there at 9 a.m. I will help you to prepare the documents for the training. Entonces, esos son los tres usos más comunes de will. Para predictions, de lo que pensamos que va a suceder. Para tomar decisiones de algo que vamos a hacer espontáneamente en el momento. Y para prometer o ofrecer ayuda a alguien. ¿Alguna duda de esta explanación? The will. No. Una prediction. What will happen? O sea, traten de predecir qué va a pasar esta noche con los que no han terminado la plataforma. <laughs> they will they're work going, hard. They, they will go to sleep. To... They're going yeah. to sleep like a baby. They will sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, no, yo llamo a fe la humanidad. They're going to sleep like a baby. Only <laughs> summer. Uh -huh. just, just a question, by the way. Uh -huh. I was receive a call this morning of English comparativo, and they told me I didn't complete the exercise the final exam and, mm -hmm. and I completed about two weeks um, ago. ¿Y usted qué le dijo? Que ya lo había hecho. <risa> pero, lo, que no había pasado, pero que no había pasado usted la nota, pero porque yo no había finalizado y hace dos semanas, no recuerdo. Ok. All right. Thank you. Ok. Bueno, el, el punto es que usted ya lo hizo. Sí, sí. Let me, let, let me share. Let me share. Mm -hmm. Ya avanzó. <laughs> sí, la verdad es que I've been receiving calls too, so that you have to complete the platform. So by tomorrow night at 10:30, ya tengo que subir la nota. So it must be done. Before, no es que mañana al, al terminar la clase vamos a empezar a hacer la plataforma, o sea, no, tiene que estar hecha entre hoy y mañana. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Vaya, pero las predictions. ¿no? <laughs> hey, pero, eh, pero la, la plataforma está la Unit 3. 
Ay, Dios. Ante el examen. Ante el examen. La for two, teacher. For and the exam. Pero si lo, la, la 4.5 es lo que estábamos viendo este día. Ajá. Will, entonces yo, yo ya hice todo lo de Will, y, pero no lo habíamos visto. Yo sé. Entonces, este, no podemos todavía, falta todavía clase. Eso, es... I know, I know. Entonces, si ya me voy a ver. Oh, no se confundió. No, no, se el más último día ha estado más confundido. Sí, sí, teacher, no. teacher, yo también ya me confundí, ya no sé qué hacer. <risa> Ya no sé, ni voy a comer mañana. Pues. I know, I know. Vaya, es que yo, yo realmente tengo problemas para, para explicar esto, pero. Ay, me está okay. diciendo bueno, que, ya, que, ya, eh, que ya debe yeah. estar terminada y que ya deben de estar subidas las notas. Bueno, pero ahí, ¿cómo vamos? <risa> ¿Cómo vamos? <risa> y yo, ¿para qué deje compartir? <risa> Entonces, pero esto lo hemos visto, no lo hemos visto. Ya está. Ah, pues el lunes lo vamos a mandar, digamos. <risa> Ajá, cabal. <risa> Okay. Entonces prácticamente solo tenemos lo mismo okay. leeron ayer y ahora. All right. So the platform for tomorrow night and and if they ask you, I motivate you to complete the platform. Okay, please check. Hasta, hasta mañana entonces, dicho. Ahora. Sí, mañana tenemos hasta mañana. Finish. Sí, o sea, pueden trabajar hoy lo que queda el resto de la noche y la madrugada. Oh, sí, sí. Hecho, no, voy a ver la, no voy a ver la lluvia de estrellas que no, no, como no Como vas a estar despierto Te vas a poder, 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 poder salir a, a verla En la azotea va a estar completa Es que sabes que necesitamos libre El sábado el, el domingo para el partido Creo por eso El domingo Ajá, creo que esa es la urgencia de tener ah. las grace. Sí, que no, que el lunes. examen Tenemos que terminar Todo, 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 todo. Hasta la evaluación papá Hasta la evaluación sí, del sí. otro curso no, hombre. No, pues... okay. A ver, ¿por qué estaba confundido, teacher? <risa> Tienes que ir al grupo si no entendemos algo, teacher. Please. Estas uh -huh. piamadas no me gustan, teacher. Do it. Y, es, y es más, está mal, está malo el, ¿cómo se llama? La plataforma está mala. No, ¿Por nada, ¿cómo se me asuste? Porque en la, en la, de, mala, en la adopción, en la adopción <risa> múltiple. O sea, ya verificadas y te las tira malas el significado de ciertas palabras. Uh -oh. Entonces empecé a jugar cuál era. Hasta, y nada que ver. El, el, por ejemplo, el de, el de... ¿Cuál era el... No eran los comparativos todavía. Eh, se me ha escapado la palabra. Pero... Ay, no, cuando habla del bundle. De los bundling. Ay. Sale, sale a field product in, a, in one... Entonces era bundling. Pero me lo tiraba mal. Le puse otra y me la tiró buena. Ya está vendido. <risa> bueno, <risa> let's complete this exercise so that we can finish. Don't worry, I will show you how to process a credit card payment. I'm sure. Aquí fácil. Solo ponemos el will. Will you? Will have? I'm sure you. We'll have a good training or a good time at the training. Sorry. Yes, I'm sure you will have a good time at the training. The training needs analysis. Will be. Will be. Successful or a success. I promise. I will do my best to get a good score in the evaluation okay thank you <laughs> all right she will not be okay will not be able or she will not be late to the meeting she will not be late to the meeting. la contracción de will not se piensa puede y es won't 
okay? She won't be late to the meeting. The manager will work. Will work. Si se fijan, así de sencillo. Will y el verbo. That's all. I have a question. Um, Tell me. Number three, uh, no lleva... Um, el sujeto yeah. el sujeto es todo esto the training needs analysis el análisis del training it ok uh -huh. ese es el subject todo es the training needs analysis o sea el análisis ese es el, el subject no necesariamente tiene que ser I, you, we pues it, algo it will be a success it will be easy thank you teacher all right. Anything else? Algo más? Yo creo que todos están trabajando en la plataforma ahorita. <laughs> Perfect. No. Tienen los sí. últimos 10 minutos para hacer la plataforma. Y aquí sí. voy a estar si necesitan preguntar algo. Present continuo. Ah, la siguiente. Mm -hmm. Permítame, vamos a compartir. Creo que esto sí lo debemos ver desde una vez. Desde el. Me voy a empachar de aquí. Uh -huh. Vaya, esto es hasta acá, ¿verdad? Y luego sí es el present continuous. Veamos, el present continuous. Acá dice: I'm having a training next week. Sí, la estructura es la del present continuous, pero se está usando para futuros planes, o sea, por ejemplo usted dice, ¿qué estás haciendo mañana? en español no tiene sentido porque usted dice, what are you doing tomorrow? o sea, estás haciendo en el momento no es que lo vas a hacer en el futuro pero cuando uno ya tiene un futuro planificado una actividad planificada, sí se puede usar el present continuous para un futuro muy cercano, ¿yes? Okay. ajá, por eso lo están usando así I'm having a training next week porque ya está así, planeado, seteado usted dice, ah Voy a tener un training next week. So I'm having a training next week. But I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. Suena como que vas a estar muy ocupado. Um, I'm taking an email training. Oh, sorry. A new learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend. But I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Is eso? In, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Look at the time. Yes. Eh, o sea que si yo ocupo, eh, you are having, I am having. Estoy hablando en futuro, future. Mm, no siempre. Por lo general ese tiempo se usa para decir algo que está ocurriendo en el momento. Pero si usted yeah. le pone una expresión de tiempo de futuro y usted está describiendo una acción que ya la tiene planificada, sí se puede usar para un futuro. Ah, okay. Por ejemplo, si usted ya planeó ir a desayunar mañana con su mejor amigo, usted dice, I'm having breakfast with my, be my best friend tomorrow. Ok. Uh -huh. Y dice, yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. O sea, Voy a reunirme con algunos amigos en el salón de conferencias esta noche. Pero en lugar de usar will, usa el present continuous porque es algo que ya planificó hacer. Que ya determinó, que ya decidió. Vea, por ejemplo acá. Look at the conversation in complete sentences. I'm having a training next week. Y son las mismas de acá. Yes, an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures. Es esta. I'm taking an e-learning training. Es como algo que ya se decidió, ya está planificado. Se puede usar con el present continuous. Que creo que era la otra estructura que no habíamos visto, ¿verdad? Ahí aquí está ¿eh? el contraste del will y del present progressive. Present progressive, present continuous es lo mismo. Solo como dos nicknames, pero para la misma estructura. Entonces decimos que el will, it is used to talk about future intentions that are decided at the time of speaking spontaneous offers, promises or decision. I will do that. Ah, voy a hacer eso. 
pero sí como predecir o tomar una decisión en el momento o prometer algo pero el proceso en progreso es cuando ya se han hecho arreglos previos ya está todo set para eso dice the manager it is used when plans and arrangements have been made the manager is flying to los angeles for the conference o sea, ya se compró el boleto ya se decidió el hotel ya se hizo todo los permisos y todo entonces por eso estamos usando el present progressive y ahí vamos a ver a más detalles en las próximas clases of course que tenemos que solo es mañana okay. Okay. pero el monday siempre hay clase ok repaso ¿Mm -hmm? exacto teacher will in negative is want si usted lo quiere contractar si sí, usted lo quiere contractar es want, así tal cual, W O N apóstrofe T. Pero si usted no lo quiere contractar, puede perfectamente decir will not. Teacher, mm -hmm. yes. In uh, number two, uh, I I I I can't come with negative. you on Sunday. In negative, ajá. Uh -huh. I will no. In negative, ajá. Uh -huh. Podría ser, I will not have a training at the restaurant. Es que la plataforma no lo acepta así. Es que aquí en realidad tiene que ser afirmativo, porque lo que le dice es que no puedo ir contigo el sábado porque tengo un training. Y usted ya decidió, ya, sea, ya, le, ya le hicieron los arreglos para que tenga ese training. Aquí póngale, I am having a training at the restaurant. Es que present progress. Teacher, y puedo colocar, I will have training at the restaurant. Podría ser, pero de, de acuerdo al uso del present progressive, que es algo para lo que ya se decidió, ya se tomó una decisión, ya se hizo arreglos, debería ir en present progressive. Si usted Yo ahorita tengo. dice, oh, I think I will, si está como prediciendo, no tiene nada decidido, no tiene nada... En concreto, ahí se podría decir I will, pero aquí dice no, no te puedo acompañar el domingo que voy a tener un training. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Algo más? ¿Anything else? Y eso es todo, ¿verdad? That's all. That, that, that's all, folks. <ríe> y todos oh, terminamos oh. la plataforma. Yeah. En la inauguración del, del, del World Cup van a estar celebrando que ya terminaron su... No, ya hemos terminado. Mañana le presento más. Please. <ríe> I need it. <ríe> mañana antes de la clase termino, teacher. Sí, mañana antes. Please. Ya. Teacher. Sí, yes. porque es mentira que voy a aguantar de aquí. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Hasta mañana. Teacher, right. the platform, eh, the number five, uh -huh. la que mandé en el WhatsApp, no uh -huh. me deja con want. Que okay, pongo verdad. want, want, Ahorita work, y me sale negativa. Uh -huh. Solo si le pongo isn't working. Sí, ajá, es eso, porque está como ya decidido que no va a trabajar, por eso lo tiene que poner en progressive. Ah. Uh, uh -huh. Thank you. All right. ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguna otra doubt? ¿Any other doubt? ¿Any other question? Vea, teacher, que el present progressive. Eh, así con el ejemplo que acaba de dar eh, Patty, no creo. Uh -huh. es, um, También es usado es, para future. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Pero cuando ya solo, se ha decidido, ya se ha planeado, ya se han hecho arreglos. Ajá, es solo como que, como cuando uno ya sabe que... Ya no tiene certeza de algo. Uh -huh. En cambio, Will es como más predecible predecir, ¿sí? imaginar o ofrecer ayuda, prometer algo. I will help you. 
Yeah, I will come. Se está prometiendo que va a ir. Pero no había decidido. Pero si ya le habían hecho los arreglos y todo eso. Ah, I'm coming tomorrow. Yes. Someone else? Teacher. Yes. In the part three for the final exam, mm -hmm. in, the, in the number four, I can come with you on Sunday. I will have a training. Déjeme ver. Me dijo final exam part, part three. Es la, la misma que yo le consultaba, teacher. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Not coming. ¿Cómo le quedó, Cristi? Es que no, no logro que me la acepte de ninguna forma. ¿Verdad? Ahorita, 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 tranquilo. One, two, three, four, me dijo. Yes. Ok. I'm having a training at the restaurant. Ah, uh, ok. Mm -hmm. mm. No. <laughs> no, tampoco. Aunque, aunque no lo contracten. I am uh -huh. having. Mm -hmm. No. Really? Yes. Maybe other, other partner can complete. Veamos. A mí lo acepta. I'm having. Mm. Thank you for Christmas. <laughs> Tal vez el espacio. O por el signo, el ¿cómo es que se llama? La apostrofe. Ajá. Ajá, es que no lo contracten, sino que I am having. No, in my case, no. No. No, no lo acepta. Really? Ah, porque yeah, no lo acepta. En WhatsApp mayúscula, minúscula y nada. No. Ah, ok. Se la aceptó. Se desconectó. Sí, pero a mí se me la acepta. ¿Cómo? Me too. Uh -huh. Tal cual. Manden al grupo. ¿Cómo lo pusieron? Ahí está. Dejar que no. No logré yo. Ahí está lo que van de compartir. Ay, pero no tengo que ¿no? Thank you. All right. Thank you, thank you. Bueno. Good night, everybody. Sweet dreams. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Nos quedamos haciendo los cinco minutos, teacher. Déjenos aquí conectados, no se preocupe. Está bien descansado. Aquí, aquí nos quedamos nosotros. Es eh, el desquite de la teacher. Yo no soy la culpable. <risa> Atendense, Adriana. Ya se nos desconectó Adriana y Carlos. Todavía se sienten mal. Cristi, Elsie, Fátima, Germán. Héctor, Isabel, Present. Catherine, Present. Lucy, Present. Mayra, Present. Nuri, Present. Sam, Present. Celia, Walter, Present. Wendy e Irma. Ahí está. Perfecto. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Goodbye. Bye. Good night.